Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codus Arcade. In today's session, I will show you how to generate CAPTCHA with the help of Python. Before starting the video, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos with your friends and family and at the same time, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates and also you do not miss out on our future uploads. Thank you. So let's get started. As I said, today's topic is generating CAPTCHA with the help of a Python program. So as you can see here, I am inside my PyCharm IDE. So I will go to my project panel and here in my Codus Arcade directory, I will go to my workspace and create a new Python file. So let the file name be generating captcha and then I will press enter. Now let me capitalize this and here I will press enter. So now this is done and here let me minimize this project panel so that I can show you the entire screen. Okay, so in order to generate captcha in Python we have a module named CAPTCHA. So let me go to my terminal so that I can install that module. So I will use the command pip install CAPTCHA and press enter. You can see it has installed it. So it's done. So let me just minimize this terminal window. And now I can import the module CAPTCHA. So for that, what I will do is, I will type from CAPTCHA. As soon as I write CAP, you can see it's giving me the suggestion CAPTCHA. I'll press enter, then dot. You can see this image option, I'll press enter. So from CAPTCHA.image import, I have to image the image capture class so i you can see this is the class image capture i'll press enter now i have to create a variable so that i will be able to define the width and height of my image of the capture that will be generated so for that i will take my variable as image underscore info here I will define the size, which is the width and the height. So I have to call my image capture class. As I press I, you can see I am getting the suggestion of the image capture class. I will press enter. And inside the parenthesis, I will define the width and the height. So as I say W, you can see the width equal to option comes. So I'll press enter. And let me give the width to be say 250. And let the height be around say 100 okay so this is done and this width and height can vary from person to person i want 250 and 100 you can take any other values also so now after this i have to define a variable which will have the capture text so let me define that variable capture underscore say text you can take any other variable name it doesn't matter so in this let me take the name of our channel only coders arcade so this is done and now what i have to do is i have to create another variable so that i can use the generate function which will create the capture so let the variable be source then equal to here I have to call my image info variable so I will write image info and then if I press the dot operator you can see I get this generate method here we have many more methods but I will use the generate method because I want to generate capture so I will press enter and what will be the input to this generate method, the input to this generate method will be the capture text here as you can see here. 
So inside this, I will call my capture text variable. So this is done. Now after that, I have to write this capture text data into a PNG file and I have to give the name of that PNG file. So what I will do is I will call my image info variable and then I will press the dot operator and then you, you can see that I have this write option. So I press enter and then it will be asking me the characters or the text. So it will be the capture text variable and then I have to give the name of the file of the PNG file which will be saved. As you can see here, format str equal to png. So I will give a comma and then inside quotes, I will write the name of the file. So it will be capture dot png. So this is done. Now, let me run this file so that I can show you the output. So I will right click here and I will run this generating capture Python file. I'm running it. So you can see here process finish with exit code zero. So our program is working correctly. Now, but we don't see any output, right? So let me show you the output. I'll minimize this output console and go to my project panel. And you can see here capture.png, a file has been created in my workspace. So I will just Double click on this and you can see here Codus RK CAPTCHA PNG file has been created. Now, if I want to change the letters here or the text here, what I will do is I will again go to my Python file and here I can change it to any other thing. Say suppose I want my name to be generated into a CAPTCHA. So let me write my name, say Sora. And now if I run this again, you can see it's finished with the exit code zero. So it's working fine. I will again open this CAPTCHA file and you can see this time it doesn't have the name of our channel Coders Arcade. It has my name sort of. Let me show you one more thing. Again, I will go there and let me write Python. programming. Let me capitalize the P. Okay, now I will run it again. So it's working and let me again go to this captcha.png file and you can see this is the captcha python programming as you can see here. I'm hovering my mouse over it. If you want to see the destination folder where this captcha.png file has been saved. You can just right click on this and you can open an explorer. So here you can see my workspace has opened and this is the captcha file. I will just open it for you. So here you can see Python programming. This is the captcha. So let me minimize this and minimize this as well. So this is the code guys. It's really simple, right? To generate CAPTCHA with the help of Python. I hope you have understood this code. If you have any doubts in this code, you can post those doubts in the comment section. I'll clear those doubts. And if you like this video, please don't forget to share it with your friends and family and also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications about our latest updates. Thank you. So this is it for today. Stay safe, stay focused and happy learning. Thank you. See you guys in the next session.